we are processing only langoustine. Most of them are coming from the Clyde estuary, especially Tarbert, Largs, Trun, Greenock. They arrive by van or by lorry during the night. We wash, wait, and depth them first, and then we grate in two different sizes, and then they are packed and frozen within, say, 12 hours of coming into the factory. Most of our customers are based in, in France, Spain, and some in Italy as well, but the majority are in Spain, especially in Barcelona, Valencia area, and a, a couple of customers in Vigo and La Coruña. For the fresh market, we are selling to customers in Paris, Boulogne, and a couple of customers on the Atlantic coast between La Rochelle and Nantes. The quality is very, very good. The, the customer likes the, the red color from the Clyde. So in my opinion, it's one of the best langoustine in, in Scotland. We employ about 20 full-time staff and uh, five or six temporary staff when it's really busy. Well, the, the quality is really good. Obviously, we've got to make sure that the in good colour, good condition, dipped properly through the machines, graded at certain sizes, they're washed properly and that they're packed neatly as well to go to the customers and things. So, Well, it's not just the fishing boats and the harbour and who all works there. Obviously, it's the, the drivers that come here with the prawns and then we, as a factory, what we go through, do you know what I mean? It's not just about them, it's about the factory itself and then we send it off to another company. They're a big line are people involved in the fishing industry that people actually don't realise how big it is. Fishing tends to provide a lot of employment in coastal communities and some of them are very rural uh, and therefore it's the mainstay of that employment. But I think that when we're in a, a, a plant like this one in Lanarkshire where we have um, deprivation, we have um, a lot of job shortages, I think it's great to see that this industry is providing sustainable employment and sustainable upskilling in areas where you might not expect it. I think there's a lot of work that we have to do in terms of educating people here in Scotland about eating healthy and about making the most of our produce and langoustines. Today you will have found out that there's a lot of our produce which goes to, to mainland Europe. Um, not so much stays in Scotland and I think that we, we're not making the most of that asset that we have. The challenge for us is to make sure that everything is processed and frozen in time and uh, to make sure that uh, you know, the quality is always perfect.